Alright guys Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Salam sejahtera pelajar sekalian Baik pelajar di HT01 Di HT02 Let's continue our lesson I hope all of you enjoy our lesson So uh, This video we focus on the logistic growth curve So previously we learned about exponential growth curve So you know already that Exponential growth curve is also under ideal condition under unlimited resources when the individual able to achieve their fully biotic potential but right now we focus on the logistic growth curve logistic growth curve show effect of a limiting factor show effect of limiting factor means that they have a limiting factor that will limit the population size that is we call as carrying capacity of environment. For example, we are focused on the population or growth of the paramecium in lab. So the number of paramecium increase rapidly during phase B until we can see the environmental resistance had limit it under 1,000 population in a lab. 1,000. 1,000 populasi paramecium yang dapat kita grow dalam satu condition ini. Sehinggalah beberapa sampai 1,000 dia menjadi stable. So, ini adalah carrying capacity dia. So, apabila kamu nampak situasi di mana population growth berlaku dalam situasi keadaan seperti ini. Iaitu keadaan di mana population size dia menjadi limit. Maka ini dinamakan sebagai logistic growth curve. Logistic growth curve ni divide into... Four important phases. Saya tak nak five ni ya. Four phases. The first phase kita namakan sebagai lag phase. Yaitu A. Perhatikan elok A ni lag phase. Slow growth. Kemudian B. Exponential phase. Okay. Fully biotic potential. Kemudian carrot. Environmental resistance give dia effect. Maka berlakulah fasa yang ketiga C. Decelerating phase. Dan yang keempat, stationary phase. So, semua orang saya harap di bilik masing-masing sebut dengan baik semua fasa-fasa ni. Lag phase, exponential phase, decelerating phase, stationary phase. Semasa lag phase, kita akan dapati bahawa a slow growth occur. Okay, slow growth occur. So, organism is absorb nutrient but then they are still adapt. On the new environment. Slow growth occur. Yeah? This is during lag phase. And then followed by exponential phase. Organisms. Such as paramecium. Rapidly. Grow. Rapidly grow. Okay. Rapidly grow. Okay. Because of what? The resource are still unlimited. Keadaan waktu ini. Resource masih lagi unlimited. Resource just as nutrient. Kita akan dapat juga di sini. A much space is available. Space is abundance. Nutrient is abundance. A space is abundance. And then waste product. Less. Less waste product. Sebab itu pada waktu exponential ni. They can grow rapidly. But then. The growth becomes slow down. Tengok term dia baik ah. Ha? Growth is slow. Growth occur rapidly. Growth is slow, slow down. Because of what? Abundance of resources such as nutrient now become limited. Daripada jumlah abundance of the nutrient tadi sekarang pada waktu C ni. Di selerating phase. It become limited. Highlight perkataan limited nutrient. Pada waktu ini environmental resistance juga akan bertindak. Apabila organism start to compete one another. Because of overcrowding. Competition is high. The space also become limited. And accumulation of the waste product also high. Pada waktu C ni. Dan dia membawa kepada stationary phase. Iaitu D. Iaitu the nutrient in the medium are used up. And the concentration of the waste product. Akan menyebabkan cell division is equal to the cell death. Cell division equal to the cell death. So, I to nak tambahkan nota kat sini. Cell division is equal to the cell death. So, 
ber, kita biar bincangkan dalam aspek ini natality is equal to mortality natality rate is equal to mortality rate tambahkan juga dekat sini natality rate is equal to the mortality rate so nampak dekat sini ya the birth of the new organism and the death of one is equilibrium so the population become stable so ulang sekali lagi slow growth rapid growth population growth is slow down population become stable so kita kena jelas dekat sini situasi-situasi dia saya harap kamu dapat faham dengan baik so kalau kamu perhatikan logistic growth ke dalam paramecium species ini kita dapati bahawa carrying capacity dia adalah sebanyak 900 number of paramecium so ini jelas kita nampak population is slow growth during the lag phase population is rapidly growth during the exponential phase population growth become slow down during decelerating phase then an amount of nutrient is limited amount of space also limited accumulation of the waste product is high competition among the organism is also high until the population become stable when natality and mortality is equal the carrying capacity achieved is 9,900 number of paramecium at the given area so jadi kita faham keadaan yang seperti ini so saya harap you all enjoy our lesson today so assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Baik semua.